Imagine a baby playing soccer. It seems funny, but why? Kicking a ball and running are examples of motor skills. These skills require practice, practice that a baby has not had. For example, in order to kick a ball, a child must know the position of the ball. If he is close to the ball, then his brain decides how hard to kick. If he is far from the ball, then his brain also decides how to get to the ball. Children must learn to piece together the movements necessary for kicking, just as we must learn to use our muscles to accomplish any number of physical tasks. But motor development entails more than just learning to use muscles. A child's changing brain must learn how to coordinate information from several brain systems in order to make a specific movement. These systems control movement, balance, and even brain areas that relay input from the surrounding world. When movements are made in response to the physical world, the brain first receives information about the world through the five senses. A sensory brain region begins to process this information. Then, the information is passed to the parts of the brain that control movement and balance. Motor function is localized to very specific parts of the brain. For example, the cerebellum uses sensory information to help maintain balance and posture, while movement is controlled by the brain's motor systems. Within the motor system, there are specific regions that control gross movements, such as running. A separate region, the motor cortex, controls fine movements, such as piano playing. Interestingly, nerve cells in the motor cortex are arranged like a little man or a homunculus. For example, nerves that represent the hand are next to nerves that represent the arm, which in turn are next to the shoulder, and so forth. The brain acts as a control center telling the body how to respond to its environment. Nerves from the motor cortex connect to nerves in the spinal cord. Spinal cord nerves connect to muscles. The brain uses the nerve connections between the motor cortex and spinal cord to direct movement. The nerve connections are like wires that conduct messages between the brain and the body. The connection between the brain and muscles is strengthened in a growing child by use. Researchers looked at young animals when the link between the brain and the spine was forming. The young animals were prevented from using their limb when they were young, and then, consequently as adults, they were unable to use that same limb very well. This result suggests that it's important for children to have the opportunity to use their muscles when they're young in order to develop a strong connection between the brain and the spine. In general, normal use leads to normal development, but too little activity can slow development. Leaving babies and children for long periods of time in play pens, strollers, and car seats can delay the time at which children learn to roll over, crawl, walk, and even can delay their mental development and simply providing a safe environment and encouraging babies and toddlers to explore this environment can contribute to normal development. For older children, organized sports can promote healthy motor and social skills. Other activities like walking through a park, biking, or dancing can also be helpful for developing motor skills. Watching a child grow, you'll see that as a newborn, she can only grab at things, but soon progresses to lifting her head, to rolling over, crawling, to standing, and then as a toddler to walking. As children grow, they will experience clumsy periods. The clumsy periods may reflect rewiring of the brain and muscle connections following a period of growth. Unlike adults, children's bodies are continually changing. For example, a 20-inch newborn will add about 10 inches to his height in the first year of life. So, as children grow, they must constantly relearn how their changing bodies work. Motor activity not only contributes to normal development, but may also improve the development of children with disabilities. Usually, children with Down syndrome begin to walk one year later than those without it. But research has shown, when given specialized treadmill training, 
these children begin walking on their own sooner than infants with Down syndrome who do not get the extra help. Starting specialized treadmill training sooner rather than later increases its benefits. Why should we be concerned with developing children's motor skills? Early motor experiences provide a foundation for a child to interact with the world. Encouraging your child to be active will likely promote an active adult lifestyle. Research has found links between a couch potato lifestyle and a variety of health problems, such as diabetes, heart disease, obesity, and stroke. Give babies and children lots of opportunities to engage in playful, exploratory activities. Simple everyday games such as peekaboo, tag, and hide and go seek can help the normal development of the brain's motor systems. Playing not only strengthens muscles, it strengthens the connections in the brain.